I want to provide an update to my announcement last month that I had been diagnosed with breast cancer. First, thank you to those who sent words of encouragement and your continued prayers. Your outpouring of support to me has truly been overwhelming. Secondly, my prognosis is excellent. I had my first chemotherapy treatment on August 3rd. My second one is scheduled for next week. Now that means the hair is starting to get a bit brittle and it's time for a wig. My friends here on the anchor desk weren't about to let me go wig shopping alone. And I know you're a friend of mine and you'd do anything for me. I would. What do you think? <laughs> is it you? I look like some old creeper guy wearing a wig. Yeah. And it, it's not a good look for me. Yeah. Well, if we new... turned around this way, the bangs would be locked. It would be a whole new look for me. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, you um, I wanted to do something blonde and curly. He just has that kind of fun vibe. Rock on, Garth. He actually liked his look. He really liked it. Oh, that's a pretty color. Meryl Bailey looked fabulous in red. I look like a Supreme. Like from, uh... A little short bob with bangs. She's beautiful. Okay. Oh, I like Jeff Spiegel. He was fun. I see him as straight hair. He's tall and thin. That's disturbing. He likes it. Long hair on Jeff Spiegel would be perfect. I love Brenda Ladon. Um, her red wig was. She looked pretty. She looked very beautiful. I think we have a new look. She looked very good in red. Back in the day when he was young, that he had really long hair. So I wanted to do a throwback to James and his long hair. Like, like Steven it. Tyler of Aerosmith. <laughs> they, they were fun. They made my day. For women, losing their hair is traumatic. It's very hard. It's one of the hardest things. But other than the diagnosis of cancer, it's like one of the hardest things that they go through know when they're gonna lose their hair. Once it's cut, mm -hmm. and yeah. you can actually cut this. I have cut three inches. I've done a little bit of color that I may have to tweak. Okay, but this is great. I thought it was best for her to have a human hair wig because of what she does for a living. I think y'all kind of look like myself. As yeah. soon as she put yeah. it on, I was like, oh, it looks like you're yeah. a regular hair right now. I, lo I love what you've done with it. I love the, the streaks and all through it. I just need this a little okay. darker. I'm able to custom color to match her hair. So to me, that's very important that she look as much like herself as possible. I think I can face a camera and, oh, and, okay. and talk. I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye to my hair over the weekend, and the wig's going to make its debut on Monday. And you're okay. going to be more beautiful than ever, well. for sure. Have you yeah. noticed they all looked great? We look like a bunch of stooges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Gosh almighty. Uh, rock right. band. Said that, right? yeah. yeah, our new right. rock band. Right here. Well, other people can't wear those uh, topes because when a good okay. hurricane comes along, <laughs> those things will fly away to uh, East Aboga, and I buy the cheap tope look, so it just doesn't work for me. All right.